What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to another update video and we are on week 31. I, I'm, I'm just so glad I don't have to say 20 something anymore. It's just like we're finally way past the halfway point of the year. But anyway, if you are new to this series, this is basically an update series on everything I've done this week. May include some video clips of stuff I've done, like if I've done anything fun. And then also uh, our 2018 resolutions and challenges and how all of that's going. But anyway, let's get into the weekly update portion. So basically what I've done this week. Uh, let's kick it off with the, uh, the start of the week, which is Tuesday, which is where these videos kind of take place on. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm just going to lump them together with their work, sleep, work days. Not much going on there. No, you know, craziness happening. Thankfully, I just get to rest and relax. So let's just jump right over to Thursday then. So on Thursday, Samantha and I, we went down to uh, Philadelphia. We went down to the city. Uh, we brought my brother Matt along and uh, we took him to get bubble tea. So he's, he's kind of like, he's never had bubble tea before. And if you don't know what bubble tea is, I, I definitely recommend you like look it up or something. It's basically like tapioca or like aloe vera inside of like tea it's really good definitely recommend if you haven't ever tried it to at least give it a try or find somewhere that sells it definitely go to a good place that's known for making bubble tea because if like Samantha and I we've gotten it from like a, a mall vendor before and it just completely is nasty and it upset stuff it was a it was bad you know basically just made us sick so definitely get it from a reputable place so anyway we went down to the city and we got him some bubble tea here's uh, us going down to the city right here all right, what's up everybody? Take two. Uh, I forgot to turn on the mic the first time. So, we're here with my brother Matt. We're down the city again. We're going down to get some bubble tea. He's had a little bit before, but for the most part, it's gonna be your first yeah. time, right? He's getting some strawberry. That's like my favorite. So, we're hoping it doesn't storm. We have this giant storm cloud behind us. <laughs> there was a bus in that scene last time, but this now it's, now it's clear. No. It's already raining. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just felt some raindrops. A drop? I've had like both. It's about to pour! So, uh, you should put the camera away and you should open the umbrella. Now we can just go under the bridge real quick. We're good. Yeah, it's starting to rain pretty, pretty good now. We're about to get hit. So anyway, after we got bubble tea, we walked around a little bit and uh, then we did some Pokemon raids and then we just relaxed. It was, it was hot that day too, so. Um, I did start a vlog that day, but it just kinda, it never like took shape fully, uh, which is why I have the video footage, but no vlog. So I don't know, I'm still working out how I wanna do those vlogs because I, I think for the most part, we go down to the city almost every week, at least one day a week. And I wanna try and turn those into like a vlog series or something. I just have to figure out the direction. So that's like one of the series I'm trying to get together and get worked on. I just got to figure out the like direction I want to take it in. So that brings us to Friday. 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 Friday was a lazy relaxing day for me. I and Samantha had to go into work really early so I ended up just streaming for most of the day. So we ended up just relaxing and playing some video games and that was that was about it for Friday. Not the most exciting Fridays in the world for me. Saturday was pretty cool. Saturday Samantha had to go into work early again uh, so I ended up streaming early again and then later that day we went and hung out with my buddy Tom. You guys remember Tom, right? Uh, went and hung out with Tom and Samantha and we watched the Phillies game and stuff and, and that was pretty cool, so. Uh, on Sunday, Samantha and I, we went out, um, Samantha didn't have to go into work till later that day, so we went and got some ice cream, we did a Pokemon raid, and Sunday was like brutally hot, like I'm talking, it was nearly like 100 degrees here on Sunday, so we basically, we got ice cream, we did the Pokemon raid, and then we went and chilled inside the air conditioner until Samantha had to go to work, and then I streamed for the rest of the night until I went to work, and then and uh, Monday was just a, a back to work day. So Monday was, uh, Monday can almost be lumped in with Tuesday and Wednesday with a work sleep work day. Just went to work, went home, went to bed, woke up, continued on with my day. So anyway, that's that was my week uh, in review right there. Not crazy whole lot, nothing like majorly, you know, I didn't break anything, so that's always a bonus. But anyway, let's jump into our 2018 resolution. So back in the beginning of 2018, there's even a video on this. I made a bunch of resolutions that I wanted to try and accomplish this year. Some of them we've completed, some of them we're still working on. Um, and then we've also added in challenges that I'm slowly like getting a list form of things I want to do or get like, into the habit of doing through 2018. 
Um, so anyway, let's let's jump into that. So our longest running resolution right now is reading, and I've my goal is to read 50 books by the end of the year. We're currently on our way. I think we're close to 20 right now. It's it's going to be a close finish on that one. So we've been reading the Seven Realms series, which is a pretty cool fantasy genre that takes place in like a fictional world. There's seven different realms that are held together by a queendom, which is basically a land or a country that's ruled by a queen. Basically, they're having some like coming of power issues that are going on and stuff like that. It's the best way I can describe without giving, I, I don't know, I'm very bad at describing what happens in books. I like reading them. I'm bad at describing them. I recommend you read them. So we've read the first one and I did finish the second one within a week. So that was actually a big accomplishment of mine. I was a little worried I wasn't going to be able to finish it within a week, but I I'd managed to do it. So the second one was The Exiled Queen, the uh, book title right there. You guys can check it out. Finished reading that. It was really good. It takes place about a month after the first book ended, which I don't know, it, it was a smooth transition. They could have almost been the same book. It was a very smooth transition. This was actually the longest book I've read with the most pages. I think it was like 520. So this was our longest book and I managed to read it in a week, which I was very, I don't know. I was just like, the fact that I got it done in the week, I was just like, yes, did it. I don't know. It was like a mini goal of mine. Just because we've been taking, I've been taking like two weeks to read books lately and it's just there. Yeah. So I think something that's been helping with this is I've been dedicating Wednesdays and usually the remainder of my Tuesday shift after I make this video, I've been dedicating those two shifts to reading, which usually gets me about halfway to two thirds of the way through the book. Um, and it, it really just kind of sets me up to finish the book by the weekend, which is nice because I, I don't know, I, I get like eight hours-ish of just straight reading, which allows me to get like into the book book without like, oh, uh, where, where did I leave off or why am I in the middle of this chapter or what's happening? So I get the, a continuous read, which I think is way better than read a chapter, stop, read a chapter, stop, read a chapter, stop. You know, it just kind of allows you to picture and get into the story and it, I don't know, it just, it keeps my interest longer. So I think that's been very helpful with me finishing this book over the week. So I'm going to continue doing that. I'm going to continue taking Tuesdays and Wednesdays to just straight read, you know, maybe work on another project for something I'm working on. But for the most part, those are going to be read reading days. And that brings us to the next book that we are going to be reading, book three in the Seven Realms series, which is the the Grey Wolf Throne. That's it right there. There you go. Um, so we're reading, I'm reading that one next. You guys can maybe read along with me. It's going to take me about a week-ish. I don't know how many pages are in this book. Hopefully hopefully about, hopefully about a little bit more. I want to see how far I can push my luck on this one. So anyway, now, uh, now the rest are challenges. That was our really only resolution that we're currently working on. So the rest of these are challenges. So my first challenges was uh, getting back into kind of working out. I don't know. I just completely forgot that that I was even doing this challenge uh, just completely was preoccupied with other stuff and uh, the other my other challenge we'll get into I don't know I just didn't end up doing it. and I don't know it's just like I know these challenges are gonna take all through 2018 for the most part until I'm like okay I've got it down I don't need to worry about it but this one I feel is going to be a hard one to kind of get into a routine with I mean but once I get started I feel like it'll just be like oh you know before I go and take a shower and do some push-ups or something like that I just have to get into that mindset so hopefully uh, soon but yeah this week I just completely dropped the ball in this one. Maybe I can do that thing where you like tie a string around your finger to help you remember because you're like, oh, why do I have a string around my finger? Oh yeah, work out. I don't know, maybe we'll do something like that. The next one up was biting uh, fingernails. I don't know if you guys can really see. Um, okay, so my camera's not really doing a good job focusing, um, but I've like completely stopped biting my fingernails. Um, every now and then I find myself like chew it like, you know how you like kind of just bite the nail a little bit and bend it? Um, I do that every now and then, but for the most part, I have stopped biting my nails completely. Um, now it's just a matter of making sure I don't bite my nails, which is the hard part. Um, because once I stop, it's fine. It's keeping making sure I don't do it again. That's the hard part because I don't know. It's like, I don't know what it is about biting fingernails. It's just very like relieving or re like re a reassuring thing. Like, yes, I can do that. I can. So I don't know. It's a very, it's a very hard one for me to stop doing. I've done this before, hoping to be able to do it again and this time longer than before, obviously, but We'll see. I do like my nails actually looking not torn apart by a you know lawnmower. They actually look kind of nice. So as I'm looking at them right now. By the way, how do you guys look at your nails? Like this or like this? People used to get each other with that when I was in high school. Very dumb. Or maybe it was elementary school. I don't quite remember. It was a while ago. And then our final challenge that we're currently working on was my Instagram challenge and completely missed this one and dropped the ball. I was even down the city. I had an idea for a picture. I think I actually had a clip from my vlog that I had started that I was going to use for this picture. 
just never ended up doing it. Never got the picture, never put it on Instagram, nothing. I don't know, it's something I want to do. I wanna post more stuff on Instagram, but it's like one of those things where it's like, unless I'm consciously aware of I wanna take an Instagram picture, I don't do it, and that's the mentality of that one. I'll get it down though, I'll get it down. Maybe this week, like I said, we've been trying to get on the city. I don't know, I've personally been trying to go down the city at least once a week, so I'm in a, I don't know, we'll try and get another, I'll try and get a picture for you guys or something and put it on Instagram, just, you know just to kind of put it there. But anyway guys, that is going to do it. I'm not adding any new challenges because we're still struggling with the ones that we currently have, except for the nail biting one, I'm doing good on that one. Uh, so the current challenges are still in place, the resolutions are still the same. But hey, yeah, that's good. That's gonna do it for me this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it interesting. As always, feel free to let me know what you guys are up to during your weeks, or if you guys are doing challenges, or if you have ideas for challenges or anything, let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you're ready to see some more of this awesome content, and then I'll see you guys inside the next video, alright? Oh, and uh, keep being awesome, obviously. Bye!